Hey, this is the Back End Handyman. We're here to go ahead and change our door seal in our Samsung washing machine. As you can see, I'm pulling out the two screws at the top. That'll make it to where I can go ahead and take that off. Harley just watching me get it all done here. Now, I had to go ahead and close the door on her. You go ahead and pull out your tray that you put your soap and stuff in. Let's take that out first. And then we'll go ahead and take, there are three screws that hold in the soap tray. There's two in the front, and then there is one in the actual side over here as well. And then after you get that loose, you can go ahead and put your screws down there. Try to keep all your screws separated there. You pull that out, and now you go ahead and take the screws off the front and there's two of those go ahead and take those out and then we go ahead and pop the top off now me being a dummy head i accidentally popped the little white part out didn't necessarily have to pop the white part out but i gotta do things the hard way it's okay i'll go ahead and take that out of there anyway see i got her wiggling around real good Oh, there it is. I did break off a few tabs. See, I just wanted to point that out. They clicked down on there. My dumb butt broke one of them. Oh, well, that's okay. Now, let's go ahead and take off the front part of that. There's still tabs, and there is one wire connector in there, as you can see off to the side. Now, I'll show you just how nasty these things get over time. So, you definitely want to wash it before you put it back in of course now we look at the problem you see this little hole right here that caused a leak that ran all the way down the door and out the bottom i don't know what caused this little hole but this gasket was over a hundred bucks so got to be careful with these seals i did take this piece of tape and i wrapped it over the edge and i imagine duct tape going over that cut out like that would fix it for quite some time but the tape kept coming off because this is not duct tape this is just red flagging tape so i just had it on there and i'd rather go ahead and change the old seal okay now there's a spring that goes around it you want to go ahead and take your needle nose pliers and you just pull the spring off of it to separate the rubber from the door and then you pull the rubber off of there and now you take the door screws out me there was two door screws in the door latch right there and i only took one of them out because on another video they showed me there were only two screws well if you really don't want to you ain't got to take either one of those out because i didn't take the other one out and i just let the door kind of hang off to the side a little bit more of a headache then as you see right here i'm taking the four screws out of the top of the front right there and you just go ahead and put them off to the side now on this particular model there's also some on the bottom this is where i found out even though i bought this brand new and nobody has ever opened it up supposedly that somebody did open it up other videos showed that we just tilt it back like this so we could access the screws well it turned out mine was leaking a little bit so i'm gonna go ahead and lay it all the way on its back the bad thing about laying it on its back is the drain hose drains onto your floor and it does stink that's pretty much sewer and you see here i see the screw that has been pretty much rusted as you can see and i can't take that out with just a regular screwdriver so i just went ahead and drilled off the head I mean, we are pretty much missing one screw down here anyway, so I just drilled that head right off and it popped right off. And then I take, there's two clips up top that you have to pop down, and as soon as you pop them down, I did it with the needle nose pliers, pushed them down, and down here at the bottom there's also a hose on the front of it that you have to kind of watch when you pull this out because the hose the drain hose down at the bottom will stick in the door and it's kind of really hard to get out of there 
Now what I'm doing here is I'm going to go ahead and taking off the hoses that's on top. There are three of them on this model. And that middle clamp, you actually tighten it to loosen the clamp. You tighten the screw to loosen the clamp. That is a really neat little trick. And then when you want to tighten the clamp, you loosen the screw. That's kind of crazy. And there you go. You can see uh, on the door spring, the water had been just dripping down onto it. So it rusted as well. So I had a heck of a time getting this off. You can either use a screwdriver or in my case, I had to use pliers and a ratchet because it does have a ratchet head. And finally, I got it off to where I could actually get the boot off of it, as you can see here. Now, also with this, you can see it gets all nasty. It's very important on these front load washers that you leave the door open for the mildew to evaporate. But that's the old one, as you see there. And I have the new one right here. Now, I just ordered this off of eBay specific for this model. Some models, they say you actually have to cut holes into it. Luckily, this one you don't. You just go ahead and you make sure that you put it on. It does have a tab that points straight up. And you want to make sure that that tab right there points up when you put it in. Now, none of the other videos I watched on this, as you see, I fought with that door pretty much all the time because I didn't want to take the other screw out of it. But none of the other videos showed that these weights had anything to do with the door sill. But I found it really hard to put the door sill back on with these weights on here. The bottom weight and the top weight just have three bolts a piece. You can go ahead and take them out. And I found that by removing these three bolts and taking these weights off, it was a lot easier to go ahead and put that back in there like it's supposed to be. Now, if the weights are there, don't leave a whole lot of gap for you to be able to work the gasket seal back on. But... As you can see here, after I got the weights on, I had plenty of room to get it done. And then I went ahead and ran it around the side there. And I got the spring back on there. And there, I had to fight with that for a minute since it was rusted. And after I got it off, I freed up that rust by spraying some penetrating oil on it. And then I went ahead and took a ratchet and screwed the screw down. That made it to where it would easily tighten up on there. After a little bit of tightening with my ratchet and my pliers, I got the seal good and tight. I know it isn't going to leak anymore. That was the goal. So now we go ahead and put the weights back on. Make sure you put them back on where they, the way they came off. Put the top one back on and it does have the three bolts and of course you when you get the top one on you put the bottom one back on make sure you get the bolts good and tight they do have a little bit of lock night lock tight on the nut bolts so the bolts don't come off i can only imagine one of these weights falling off of it while it's washing a load of clothes that'd be an absolute nightmare in my deal but anyways after you got the weights on there, you go ahead and make sure that all that's good and fastened on there. Now, me, looking how nasty that is, you can sit down in there. I can't stand that. i got to clean it. So there's another hose. There's two hoses on the bottom. One of them goes to the actual gasket on the front door. I went ahead and disconnected the three hoses in the back with the two hoses on the bottom. And then you can just pop it apart by the tabs on the side, pulling them out and lifting. And then they come apart just like that. You see how nasty that is. Now it's all clean. And I'll go ahead and put it right back together here. Make sure you get it on there the right way. Now the front tabs, you got to put those in first. And then you lock it down on there by pushing it back together. If you don't line the front tabs up, it's going to leave a pretty good size gap there and the back tabs won't tighten down. So, of 
course, you'll know if you did something wrong. And you just feed that back through there. Of course, that front one goes to that front part on the door. And then there was another one right underneath it. Now that I got that on there, that's actually the one that you can loosen the screw to tighten the clamp. And it's a pretty neat little thing, I still think. And then after you got all your hoses on there, you go ahead and line your front door back up. Get it on there. I went ahead and tightened them two screws back on the latch mechanism because I took them off thinking it was going to take the door completely off, which I missed one and it didn't come off. But as long as you put them back on there, it's all good, right? Then you put those four screws into the top of it to hold the front on. And me, since I only got one screw left, it was missing a screw at first and I drilled the other screw out. So I'll just put this one screw I got left into the middle here so it holds it in place. Now we set it back up and you can see it's wobbly as heck because my bathroom floor has got a bunch of laminate in there that makes it unlevel as heck. But as soon as I get it in place, it won't, it won't wobble at all. It's crazy. And then when we get back to this, we go ahead and put our three screws back in after we get it all fastened up get your back hoses put back on it to where it feeds the water into the soap dispenser and all that after you get those then you'll go ahead and put the screws in it and then you go ahead and take that plastic piece i pulled off i really shouldn't have snap it on there and then you put the front face plate on there with the digital make sure you plug back in that one tab that's off to the right side of it then after you get it popped in there it's good to go and you get your screws you got two screws on the front here one on each side and then I got the three screws on that uh, soap dispenser I went ahead and tighten them up now what I'm doing is I'm going ahead and on that seal, it actually has a rib that fits down around the door frame there. As you've seen when I took it apart, and you can put that spring back on it once you get that uh, little crevice around the door jam. You put that spring on there and what that does is it seals the gasket. Then, I went ahead and washed that, and you put that right back in there, just like that. Nice, and it's almost good to go. Last thing we do is go ahead and look over our work and make sure that we got everything back like it's supposed to be. Mainly the door seal. You don't want it leaking, and you see there isn't no hole in that no more. So, looks good to me there. Then you come back here and make sure you got all your hoses reattached to it including the ones underneath and then one last thing you go ahead and put your top back on it as soon as you get that fed back on there you just pop it on there and then you got the two screws on the back and then you don't have any more you have to worry about it's ready to go that's changing the front door sill on a samsung washing machine thanks for watching later